Are we alone in the galaxy? No. Are humans going to experience prosperous, abundant lives where we get to use amazing, fantastic technology, for example, free energy? Yes. Is this going to happen very soon? Yes. And how do I know this? Because there is information out there that states we are living in a completely new reality. Everything is about to change before our eyes. In fact, this is why I share all of this information on YouTube. Join me on Patreon where I can go into more depth about all of this. I can really hone in on the topics and subjects that I discuss here on YouTube. But really, Patreon is an opportunity for me to express myself and be who I truly am. Talk about the things that I can't talk about here on YouTube. And ultimately, I just want to help you on your ascension journey. I want to teach you the things I know. And if you have any doubts about a new earth or a great solar flash or a dimensional shift, then all of those doubts will be answered on Patreon. The link is in the description below. The Law of One talks about Ra being a sixth dimensional group soul or group being that resided on Venus two billion years ago. In fact, Ra tells us in The Law of One that they were actually in humanoid form on Venus two billion years ago and that they came to the Earth even during those times to assist the Earth through its ascension process. So it would seem that Ra is a multidimensional being that has existed for billions and billions of years and has in fact always helped the Earth during its ascension process. Now, what's amazing about this, guys, is that NASA released scientific studies and research that shows that Venus was actually an Earth-like planet two billion years ago. And so we have the law of one back in the 1980s, or Ra, telling us back in the 1980s that they were a being, or sorry, they were an advanced group of beings who resided on Venus two billion years ago. Well, you have to ask yourself the question. We are told Venus is uninhabitable. Venus is too hot. The climate just wouldn't suit human life. The climate wouldn't support any form of life. And so we have to ask questions. Hmm. Did Ra really live on Venus two billion years ago like they state in the Law of One? Well, as I said earlier, NASA released science stating that Venus was actually an Earth-like planet two billion years ago. And so we have the Law of One telling us this and NASA telling us this. What are the mathematical chances of a channeled body of work stating that beings resided on Venus two billion years ago and then NASA backing that up with credible scientific research absolutely ridiculous. I've done the numbers on this, guys, and there is simply no way, unless there was some form of truth to all of this, that NASA could link with Ra from the Law of One, talking about beings who resided on Venus two billion years ago. What's also interesting is the Law of One talks about the solar system or our universe actually being an intergalactic civilization with the Earth during the times that Ra was residing on Venus two billion years ago. And so we are talking about a civilization that has conquered or a civilization that thrived here in our solar system, here in this galaxy, two billion years ago. Perhaps this answers the questions as to why we have structures like the Great Pyramid, which seem to have been built by advanced extraterrestrials or ter extraterrestrials who had advanced technology. This maybe answers the questions to things like why metallic models of the platonic solids were found to have originated from two billion years ago here on this earth. Artifacts and ancient texts and scriptures found from underground, places like the Vatican underneath the Great Pyramids themselves. Everything that we don't seem to have answers to here on earth can be answered by a simple statement. And that statement being that we did have an advanced civilization here on earth two billion years ago. This civilization was intergalactic and did travel to Venus. And so perhaps we are time traveling. Perhaps we are just living through time. Perhaps the universe has cycles of time where civilizations become advanced, they evolve, and a new civilization comes in to do the exact same thing. Ra is telling us in the Law of One that they now reside on the sixth dimension, that they evolved. And so perhaps it might take us exactly two billion years to get from this point to the sixth dimension where Ra is. And maybe that's just how the universe works in terms of soul evolution.